Good afternoon. We're coming to you live from outside the Test Control Center at NASA's John C. Stennis Space Center in South Mississippi, where in approximately six minutes, we invite you to witness the hot fire test of an RS-25 rocket engine on the A-1 test stand. I'm Paul Foreman with the NASA Office of Communications here at Stennis. The RS-25 engine powered the space shuttle during 30 years of operation. These same engines will power NASA's Space Launch System core stage, launching astronauts on missions into deep space and eventually to Mars. Of course, the safety of our people and our engine is the first priority, and there is always the possibility of a delay as we make sure conditions are correct for the test. Four RS-25 engines will help power the Space Launch System, or SLS, at launch, providing a combined 2 million pounds of thrust. In conjunction with a pair of solid rocket boosters, total thrust at takeoff will exceed 8 million pounds. In addition to testing RS-25 engines for the Space Launch System flights, NASA at Stennis is preparing the B-2 test stand to test the actual SLS core stage for the new rocket's inaugural flight known as Exploration Mission 1, or EM-1. That testing will involve installing the actual flight core stage on the B-2 stand and firing all four RS-25 engines simultaneously, just as during an actual launch. The B-2 test stand was originally built to test Saturn rocket stages that propelled humans to the moon during the Apollo program. Preparing the stand to accommodate the SLS core stage required a complete renovation of the stand. Major construction on the stand has been completed, and NASA recently passed another milestone along the way to the actual hot fire test, conducting a water flow test on the B-2 stand. Water is critical for such rocket engine and stage testing. The fire and exhaust generated during tests is directed down and out of the test stand via a large flame deflector. Water, among other uses, is used to cool the super hot fire and exhaust and to protect the flame trench from damage by the heat. Water to the B2 test stand is supplied through a high pressure industrial water system upgraded for the SLS core stage project to deliver as much as 335,000 gallons per minute at 220 pounds per square inch. During a test, the water deluge system will deliver more than 240,000 gallons of water a minute through 32,000 plus 5 32nd inch holes drilled into the flame deflector. Back on the A1 test stand, preparations for today's RS-25 test appear to be progressing smoothly. A main objective for today's test will be testing a new flight controller or brain of the engine. The controller, which is currently installed on the developmental engine, has the electronics that operate the engine and communicate with the SLS vehicle. Once test data is certified, the engine controller will be removed and installed on a flight engine in preparation for flight of SLS and the Orion spacecraft. We are getting close to test now so let's go back to coverage of today's hot fire test of an RS-25 rocket engine.
Wow. I hope this test provides a glimpse into the 